rich people have an action mentality. We believe if it's going to be, it is up to me. Research is an action. Planning is an action. Strategizing is an action. Taking action is action. Telling somebody you're gonna do something and then do it is action. Talk is cheap. Action is what matters. People, nah, 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 talk about Hold on, I'm gonna start it. And I hear it every day. Rise and shine, it's espresso time. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your cup of coffee and sip on today's message from Dan Locke. Also, if you want to learn how to build your confidence, check out my 254 Confidence Series. It's free. The link is in the description below. After you practice martial art, you develop this natural self-confidence. Not cockiness, but you develop this natural self-confidence. Poor people, they have lottery mentality. And rich people, we have action mentality. You see, most people, they believe the only way to get rich is buying that lottery ticket. Even though they know that the chance of winning is slim to none, but they buy that fantasy. Hopefully, if I win, I'm gonna buy that house. I'm gonna quit that job. I'm gonna take that vacation. No, rich people have an action mentality. We believe if it's going to be, it is up to me. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make myself successful. The decisions that you make when you're feeling bold are actually the right ones for you and your head starts talking you down from doing them. When you're feeling bold, unstoppable, confident, powerful, and you make a decision, you make a choice, you say, I'm gonna go off and do this thing. That is actually the best thing that you need to go off and do. You have to listen to it. You have to take that jump. Otherwise, you will still be in the same spot you are currently in right now, five years from today. So I just came back from doing a tour, 90 day tour, 23 different cities. It all started because I was walking down the street on a warm summer day last year and I decided I'm gonna take Nina, my wife, to every city in North America with a million plus people. Crazy goal, right? My next evolution, the next leap, the next jump. Every city in North America with my wife, let's go. And then your head gets in the way. Then your head starts thinking, Whoa, how many cities are there? How do we plan for this? Nina has a full-time job. How are we gonna make it all work? What's the timeline gonna be? Your default first step needs to be action instead of thinking. What most of us will do, as soon as you come up with an idea, is you go home and you think, and you plan and you ponder and you strategize and you think, and you use all of your creative, bold, confident energy into planning. The problem is you wake up the next day a different person. You wake up the next day thinking, I can't do that. I can't go to every city in North America with a million plus people. I can't do this, I, I can't do that. You come up with all the reasons that are logical, that are practical as to why you can no longer do that thing. You were feeling bold and confident yesterday, but today you can't do it. That's why your default first step needs to be action. Use that bold, creative, powerful energy into action, into committing yourself to doing something and taking what I call the first 2%. The 2% difference. That means don't go home and plan your way to hitting 100% of your goal. Immediately take the first 2% action to move a tiny bit closer to your goal. And so I said, I'm gonna take my wife Nina every city in North America, million plus people, great. What's my first step? Not researching how many cities, not trying to figure out how Nina's gonna quit her job, not any of that stuff, not planning, not strategizing. It's this weekend, we're gonna go to Boston. Cause I knew Boston had a million plus people and I knew Nina hadn't been there yet. So we're gonna go to Boston. It was actually the wrong plan. It wasn't the closest city. I thought it was the closest city, but there's multiple cities that are closer. But the imperfect plan that you act on is better than the perfect plan that you sit on and never do anything about. And so we went to Boston that weekend. It was a Wednesday afternoon. I decided by Friday night, we were leaving and driving to Boston. Action. This is the thing that most people are missing. You don't have enough action. The 2% difference. Stop planning to 100% and figure out what the smallest possible, simplest version of doing that thing is right now, immediately, today. You have made bold decisions in your life. You have decided, I wanna go do this. I wanna play a bigger game. You've been inspired by a video, by a conference, by a conversation. You've been inspired, you've woken up. Some days, not frequently enough, but you've woken up and felt, I, I should be doing this. That thing is the thing that you should be doing. That's the thing, it is but you only spend 2% of your time believing in that thing. 
And so the way to get to actually live in there is taking the 2% difference. Immediate action when you're feeling bold, powerful, and unstoppable. So let's go through an exercise. Let me walk you through how to actually do it because I want you to walk away with this today after watching this video. We're not here just to get motivated and watch another video, it's action. From all of these videos that you watch, it's gotta be action on your goals, movement towards hitting your dreams. So step number one is get motivated. Whatever that means to you, whatever helps you get motivated. Maybe you already are right now. Maybe just this energy and watching this video, you're motivated, you're thinking of a bigger world for yourself. But if it's not this, great, what is it? Is it meditation? Is it going for a walk outside? Is it watching some other videos that listen to a podcast, reading a book, meditating, like whatever the thing is, what's the thing for you? Get motivated right now. You know it's possible. You know we've done it before. Get motivated right now. That's step number one. Step number two, come up with a bolder vision of your life. What does the bold version of your life look like? You can't create a bold version of your life when you're not feeling motivated. If you feel like crap, you're feeling like ordinary, you're feeling like average, you're feeling like mediocre, say, yeah, okay, well, I wish I could go do that thing. No, no, what? No. You create bold plans when you're feeling bold. So step one is you get bold, you get motivated. Step two is now you create a bold version of your life. What does that look like? What are you doing? Who are you hanging with? What does your business look like? What are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? What does the bold vision for your future life look like? And then step number three is do the 2% immediately. Great, that's what it can look like, but the path to get there is gonna be very different. You don't know the path, it's nebulous. Don't spend the rest of your day planning out your path, no. You are losing your energy, you are losing momentum. You have your bold version, you have your bold vision, amazing, 2% time. What's the first step that you're gonna to commit to doing right now and then go off and do it? You are not allowed to go home and sleep tonight and put your head on your pillow tonight without having taken action, without committing to somebody that you're gonna do something. Research is an action, planning is an action, strategizing is an action. Taking action is action. Telling somebody you're gonna do something and then do it is action. Committing, buying that ticket, making that phone call, recording that first video, that's action. And you take the first step, even though you don't know how it's gonna to lead to you getting to your ultimate destination. That's a 2% difference, I wanna see you do it. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that question of the day, I wanna know what's the 2% action you're gonna to take today? Put it in the comments below and then go do it. Talk is cheap. Action is what matters. People, nah, 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 talk, hold on, I'm gonna start to, blah, blah. and I hear it every day. I got 13 million social media followers. I get thousands of DMs. Oh, Ty, you're gonna hear from me. I'm gonna do the next video. Blah, 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 blah. Usually, the more people talk, the less they do. Not always. Sometimes people talk and do. Uh, but a lot of times, people use talking as a excuse to procrastinate more and more and more. What are you gonna tell your children? What are you gonna tell your grandchildren? 20 years from now, daddy, grandpa, what were you doing during the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the planet? Other than having your thumb up your f What are you gonna tell them? Oh, I was thinking about it. I was spreadsheeting it. I'm proud to say I haven't done a spreadsheet in 10, 15 years. Go read another book. Go listen to another, uh, read a blog, listen to a podcast. You know, there's this old thing about people read 60 books. I could take one book and read it 60 times. If it's a good book, I don't abandon that book for a second book. I'm like, I'm gonna dig in now. The, 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 free, the shipping on the books. I get an idea for a real estate book. Oh, I should do a real estate book. Everybody's asking me every day, do a real estate do, book, do a real estate book. Oh, I'm gonna write a book. We write a book on real estate. Do I sell the book or do I give the book away for free? Why don't we do both? Let's see who wants to give me 25 bucks in shipping and let's see who wants to get it for free in shipping. We did almost 80,000 books in six weeks. That's the most books I've ever done, right? The whole process took 30 days. Idea, monetize. We made money on the book before I had the book in print. I got an idea right here. Everybody in the room's got ideas. Everybody agree? The problem is they don't, they don't get the money fast enough. The shorter the runway between the idea and money, the more successful the business is gonna be. My first book had over 600 grammatical errors. Run on sentences, prepositions in the wrong place, exclamation marks, colons where there should have been semicolons. I had people like, dude, you got, you, this book's got misspellings on every page. I'm like, it's a best-selling book. 
You know the guy that told me that? Never read, never, never, never wrote a book. He's so busy reading books and not doing anything. By the way, how many books have you not written? Hi, this is Dan Locke. If you're a fan of Evan's work, if you want to know exactly how to model my success, I want to invite you to join me for a special online training. All you have to do is click on the link below. You can join me for absolutely no charge. So click on the link below and I will see you in class. And if you want more Dan Locke, check out the ideas versus execution video I did on him. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. The only difference between me and everybody else, I can execute better than most people.